Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Ericsson TV. Curtis here with Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Curtis. Hey, everybody. Hey, Lauren. Um, I thought since we are nearing the year end, it's always a good time to think about planning. Even right. though it's uh, we get you know we have a lot of uh, distractions with the holiday season and things yes. like that. And I thought this would be a good carryover from uh, the touching episode you did recently about the planning with the healthcare directive. Oh yeah. Like okay. So this was an article in the the USA Today, and it's about uh, it's about women and uh, dealing with uh, financial planning. Okay. And it's, so it focuses on women versus men, and 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 some of the issues that come about it. And it was interesting to me because I I kind of intuitively knew this, but obviously. Virtually everybody knows, and it doesn't. You know, it's always talked about. You know, with actuarial tables that women outlive men. Yes. Right. Definitely. And just looking at you and me personally, uh, of course, our, our moms are alive, but our fathers are not alive. Yes. So that's you know, I mean, I'm sure that's very common for many people. Yes. Exactly. Um, and so the issue was uh, there was a big concern about, uh, uh, you know, the the big issue is making sure people have enough retirement income yeah. to to live their life, and how many women struggle because they live a lot longer than men. Yeah. And so the interesting issue is, is uh, you know, what they're, they're looking at why, why, um, are, you know, do women seem to have uh, these problems? And uh, so one of the things is, is that there was a there was a study done and they said women are not comfortable with financial advisors. Oh, really? And it said that. Uh, oh, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it said the survey said that that women rated f the financial industry dead last in the list of 60 in industries below <laughs> used car salesmen. <laughs> I've I've heard that from a lot of a lot of women actually, and that's a that's a pretty consistent. Uh, claim. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because it, uh, it, it back in the time when they were uh, maybe married, and so they would come in for a, a meeting with their financial advisor. Uh, almost eighty percent of the women in the survey said that they wish that the financial advisor talked to them and asked them for opinions, and not <laughs> just their husbands. Oh boy, this is not making us look good, Curtis. Well. Uh, well <laughs> I'm hoping it makes us look good. Talking about <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, I do work with, and I know you work with a lot of women <laughs> right. uh, clients that do, uh, that are single. So it's so I'm very right. comfortable uh, working with women. But but, but this is definitely a problem within our industry generally. Yes. I think that that uh, especially at commission based firms, this industry attracts a lot of a very stereotypical type of male that does very poorly at relating to lots of different people. Right. But, and unfortunately, I don't know the statistics, but I know there's more men advisors than women advisors, mm -hmm. and uh, not every advisor is the same. No. Uh, we know that's for the truth. Um, but so, that, so they said that because of this, uh, women are typically not getting the planning that they need. Right. And so they're making poor decisions about you know how to take them you know social security benefits. Uh, they are not uh, protecting their assets sufficiently. Right. Um, they are not uh, planning for the financial retirement aspects uh, well enough. So. So, uh, so I guess some t the takeaway from this is that we hope that the women that are watching this episode understand that not all financial advisors are alike, and I think it will be a great opportunity to, whether you're married, single, widowed, or, or uh, you know, divorced, it's a great time to take a look uh, with a financial advisor, and not, and not trying to just sell us, but somebody <laughs> like us that's going to tell the truth. That's right, and uh, and and really, really, really do some planning to, to make sure that you are going to have sufficient income to uh, last your your long long life. That's what we're looking at. Uh, any takeaways that you have? And whether you're a woman or a man, if you're dealing with a financial advisor who's not listening to you or not really yeah. communicating with you, move on to the next one. They're trying to sell you a product, <laughs> or just trying to sell you a product. Move on to the next one. There's a whole lot of better financial advisors out there. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Ericsson TV. We'll see you next time. See you next Bye. time.